Slant Java were making booze. <sighs> leaf. It's a booze leaf. Science. Have you noticed the levels are depleting? Just a couple weeks of sound and we're gonna celebrate by making hard cider. It's really easy. Most people are intimidated by home brewing and that's because it seems like something you have to do at Hogwarts with a whole lot of chemistry sets and sanitized gear and face masks and goggles and possibly several assistants and beakers and flasks. And it's true, you can get that into home brewing if you want to. But what you really need to make alcohol at home is something to ferment, yeast to ferment it, time. That's it. Three things. We're gonna make a small batch of hard cider, but technically it's gonna be a hard cicer with an S. Cicer is like cider, but instead of just using juice itself and maybe some sugar to ferment over time, we're adding honey to it, which makes the alcohol content go up and it makes it technically a type of mead or honey wine. So a couple warnings up top. Making alcohol is making food. And if you're gonna do this at home, you should do some research. It's not hard, but any basic home brewing site will tell you the basics of sanitation, bottling, and just safety in the brewer's kitchen. The supply list is really basic. What you're gonna need for this small batch of cider is one gallon of fresh pressed hard cider. I think you can use apple juice too, as long as it's 100% juice. But for this recipe, I strongly suggest uh, hard cider. This is from Standard Farm Sand, Cambridge, New York. Pure cider. It's the good stuff. We want you know, the hard stuff. Next, you're gonna need some honey. This is from My Hive. This is a one pound container. The, the ratio is one pound per one gallon. So if you wanna make a five gallon batch, you're gonna need five pounds of honey for every five gallons of cider and or juice. Besides honey and cider, you're going to need this. This is the magic maker right here. This is champagne yeast. There's all types of brewing yeast from brew shops, whether you go to shops in your local town or if you go online. But what we want for this sizer is a champagne yeast. It's not expensive. I think this was 49 cents. And you're only gonna use half a packet. So what are we going to brew in? A one gallon glass jug. Star Sand, sanitizer that you use to make any glass or beverage containers clean enough for brewing or bottling. And you're gonna need a little stopper and what are known as, um, I call them bubblers, but basically it's a thing that lets the fermentation air escape so your bottle does not explode. So we've got everything we need right here. We've got our gallon of cider, we have a glass jug for fermenting that is full of sanitizer, which is water and star sand. It's a one ounce per one five gallon bucket ratio. So this one gallon of water has one fifth an ounce. You can do a little bit of math and a little bit of measuring, but you can handle it. There's one pound of honey. And now what we're gonna do is make hard cider right before your eyes. We got our sanitized jug. So we got our honey inside the jug, one pound of it. It's sitting there acting pretty in a perfectly sanitized jug. Now remember, I rinsed that with star sand and when I poured out the star sand, I did not rinse out the bubbles. The bubbles are okay, they're not gonna hurt you. Don't rinse them out. Gibson is just goats. And those are rabbits. Next step, we're just gonna add the cider. Now, when we pour in the cider, you want to make sure you don't go above the one gallon marker on your jug. Cats dig booze, right? Next step is we take our I'm cutting open the yeast packet. Half the container of champagne yeast poured in. We're 
press that cap on tight. So this is it guys. This one gallon of soft cider, honey, and yeast is going to turn over the next month into an almost clear winish white wine kind of looking hard cider. And it's going to take about a full month in this bubbler. It's going to probably go for the entire 20 days or so. This little bit of water, I put some sanitizer up here. It's going to bubble every couple of seconds at first and then every couple of minutes and then just one or two little pops every uh, couple hours. But in one month, this stuff right here is going to be fit to bottle. This is a glass of ice. This is a bottle of Last Falls Hard Sicer. Here's a bottle opener. It's in the shape of a trout. I used to work at a place that was into this stuff. Pour your beautiful hard cider in, about two-thirds of the way full. Add yourself some bourbon, whatever brand you prefer. You want to fill it up the extra third of the way. It's going to cause more of a golden color. And this drink, hard sicer, ice, and bourbon, is what we call a hay mason around here. The finest mixed drink of any farm anywhere. So that's it. That's how you make your first batch of hard cider. And that's how you make a hay mason. The official drink of Cold Antler Farm. The official drink of my heart and soul. The official drink of hopefully your farm too. Um, what else is there to say about this? If you really enjoyed this, and you, I assume you will if you are not an android and not to be melted for parts, then keep brewing. If you like beer, and most of us do like beer, don't be intimidated. They say at a lot of brewery websites, if you can make macaroni and cheese out of a box, you can make beer. Thank you for watching this vlog. Please watch the others. If you uh, leave a comment that you're gonna do this or not try it, let me know. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. That's the commercial bit of this, but it's important. Uh, to know that folks are commenting and subscribing means that more people are gonna wanna see videos. It gets the word about the farm, which gets the word about my books, which in turn pays the mortgage and keeps me here living this beautiful life I'm so grateful to live. I'm happy to share it with you. I'm happy to be here. Um, if I can make the world a better place by teaching you how to make hay masons at home, I think my work here is done for the day.